Okay, let's try this again. I did have it cleaned up in here. Yep. <laughs> Some solid shit wasn't everywhere. <laughs> but I had it all cleaned up. Because <clears throat> I'm getting ready. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, I'll be able to bring the motor in. I got to pick it up, and hopefully, it's done. And it'll set right there. And I got the bench lined up with all the tools, my desk thing. So that I can just be working right there and set right straight over. And I got room instead of working off that table and having to dig through it. And then this here's got the other parts, the head, the uh, uh, valve cover, the rocker arms, and the push rods. And the old oil pump, which I'll just take the strainer off of that, along with all the bolts that put it together. Okay. And, of course, i got the lifters there. And it'll be about four days now that uh, they've been uh, soaking three, four days, something like that. Tomorrow, what I'll do while I'm waiting is take the starter out and I'll clean it. I'll clean the intake real good. You can see i got the fuel rail off already. And I'll clean it as well. And I've done, uh, mapped out all my radiator hoses. Uh, the upper and lower, I found those, so I'll be able to get those next week, along with the sending unit and the thermostat and uh, the heater hoses. I've located those. The only difference is, is this one now right here, it no longer exists. So they just make them like this right here out of the hose. The I guess they just sit the hell with the metal pipe. But it connects right there off the back of the water pump. So those are located, and I'll order those next. And then I'll order a power steering pump as well. And I pulled it, uh, <laughs> the pulley off of it with no problems, really. This will use a little bit of muscle on the first two or three twists just to get it to moving. And then after that, she just come right off, no problem. And I use this right here. Ah, my cigar went out. Yeah, a Harbor Freight Pittsburgh pulley remover set. And it's not my first one. I've had a couple, two or three of them over the years. But for $18.99, work like a charm. One guy said that uh, he went through uh, three of them. Crushed the button a couple times, and then the third time it just locked up on the thing, and he had to beat it off and took it back, you know. But $18.99 compared to $70 and $40, and boy, they can really get on up there. And some of them you only just get one pulley puller, you'll have to buy a whole set, and it'll be different because it's not like this right here. And then you got a set that's like $40, 39 something dollars. That's like this. The only difference is, is this is a little bit better, you know. It's a one time shot, actually two. I'll use it to put the pulley back on. And I'll put it up just like I did years ago. And I won't use it again. And I picked up this little booger right here. That's $19.99. It comes with a quarter inch collet and a one eighth inch collet. Uh, 20,000 RPMs at 3.5 CFMs, which that's pretty good. <clears throat> and I got 40 grit um, disc with the disc holders, okay? $19.99 and then just figure uh, $5 a piece on this. So that's another $20, $30, $40. Uh, 40 58 and then I use a 28, I mean a 20% discount and got it off for like 56 bucks. Yep. And I'm going to use it to burn the bolts off of the water pump on the Saturn. This one's going in. But these three dadgum bolts right here froze on that thing, and I couldn't break them to get the pulley off. That's why I got this. And you can't get to it. I stripped the little 10 millimeter heads on them. So that's the next thing, is just burn them off. And then 
pop the pulley off and take the pump out and hopefully I'll be able to do that. <clears throat> and then this is a freebie. <laughs> I picked it up today. Uh, went and fixed her mother's window from where they had to break in and it's some old crank style. Got three windows and you crank it like this and they lube her out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, they warped them too. And then they broke one of the push arms. And then it was missing two of the uh, lock studs. I fixed all that crap. But <clears throat> we went in the car and then when we seen this, I said, turn around, we'll go back and get the truck. And well, we came back and got the truck. And the yeah, little dude works. I just need to clean the rods up and uh, adjust it. See, and, uh, these got cams on them, so when you turn them, the wheels move up and down a little bit. These right here, they move up and down to tighten it to your rods. Uh, and the only thing that was really wrong with this was the pan. The pan had just rotted out, gone. It was there, but when you touched it, it was so brittle that it just broke up. And I got it in the back of the truck, but I made a bet with Angela that this thing run. All I had to do is just plug it in. Said, no, there's no way. There's something wrong with it. It's got a bad motor or something. I said, you want to bet? <laughs> Is that not awesome? I got a 10 inch uh, tile saw now. Top brick, tile and brick, because it'll cut three inch brick right here. It'll cut three inch brick. You can see where he was working it, and he actually was cutting somewhere around two inches, pretty close to two inch brick. And that right there is just uh, tile uh, crud. We didn't, didn't clean it. And there's the pump for it right there. And I probably have to get another pump if I can't get it cleaned out. It's got that crud all on the inside. Which that ain't no big deal. Uh, I'll build a pan for it. I'll make it out of uh, 1 8 inch, quarter inch plywood and then paint it with uh, swimming pool paint inside and out. And there's a pan. <laughs> yeah, this would be awesome. I'll even put a drain plug hole in it and uh, have a sump hole for it for the pump to sit down in a little hole with a little screen go all the way around it, you know, so that the, uh, well, tile, that the dust turns into powder, you know, when you cut through it. But that's pretty awesome. Freebie. <laughs> All I did is walk up to it and I went, yeah, I want it. <laughs> as long as I felt that thing move, I said, yeah, I want it. Now, if it had been locked up, I probably wouldn't have fooled with it. But what I need is uh, pull the rods off and put them down in some sort of tank and do the electrolysis process to remove the rust. But actually, it'd be nice if I could just take the bed off and just immerse the whole thing in it and get it all off of her because... Really and truly, this is the bad spot right here. And it's not really that bad, but, you know, it's getting bad. It still work, though. Yep. I like it. Free. And it's even got wheels. And then they work. <laughs> awesome, huh? Uh, and the next thing on the list, which I've already ordered, the uh, coal packs is uh, I'm going to get the uh, ignition control module that's on the bottom right there. I'm going to go ahead and get that. Yep. It's because I don't want to take this sucker apart. Once I go back with it, I don't want to have to fool with it. The only thing I want to fool with is the top of the motor. That's it. Nothing else. And that, I'll take this down. When I pulled the barrent and pulled that pulley off and got the pump off, it, it seems good, but yeah, it's just a 2003, so it's 15 year old. I'm gonna have the bearings replaced on it, you know, just so I don't have to fool with it because everything mounts to it. It's got uh, 
power steering pump, alternator, air conditioner. And then it mounts to the motor. And then the crazy thing about that is, you see that hole right there? Right there? This fits in that hole. Where my cigar? Hold on. <laughs> that gum thing mounts up in that hole like that. So you literally got to disassemble a whole engine just to get that plate off and screw with that bearing, those two bearings. No, we're going to go ahead and take care of that. Now, everything that's impossible to do is going to get done. Because I don't want to do it after I put it all together and, I, and do it. I'll buy a starter later and put a new starter on it, but I'll just clean that one up for now. It's You can see where the water, it was leaking water all over it from the back of the motor, hitting it everywhere. But it seems like it's a fairly decent one because it's new. It's called a tough one. There's the number for it right there. And it is a P6491S. And I can get that for $33, no problem. Yep. Yeah, so what I have now is everything. I have all of the uh, sending units. The only one I didn't buy yet is the uh, oxygen sensor right here. I got two of those to get, one upper and the lower. Uh, but I got everything else. I got the injectors. I got the cam sensor, the crank sensor, the NOx, and uh, oil sending unit. Those are because they're going on the motor before I even stick it in there. They're all on the left side, and you can't get to them. When you put that intake on, you're screwed. And that's the same thing with that right there. You have to do it under the truck, and there's not that much room, trust me. And you can't see. All right, guys, there you go. I ain't got to excuse my breathing. It's the dadgum uh, camera. I'm actually normal, I think. <laughs> oh, and I did. I got the clutch, press plate, uh, lining pin. That's all coming, along with the uh, hydraulic slave cylinder. That's coming. Uh, and, ah, uh, shit, there was something else. I got with it. I spent a ton of money on it. And I got it figured right now where I'm at. Uh, roughly $978 when I pick the motor up tomorrow. With everything that I've done purchased already. And when I get finalized and I get the motor built, done, and in there, I'll put the price list out there. Everything I spent on. Because it's easy. It's all listed in eBay. <laughs> Alright y'all, peace. And any shots button, all that other good shit, bye.